Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Lene. Welcome to Psychic Creations. We have a fun and musical show for you today. Now, as you know, our shows have featured various musicians, songwriters, and singers. Music can soothe us all. <laughs> and for this program, our guest is a fabulous local musician whose music is, well, you just can't beat it. It's that awesome. So please welcome to Psychic Creations, the awesome Stephen Hansen. Yay! Big clap, big applause. <laughs> welcome. And thank you so much for being on our show thank today. Awesome. Now, if you don't mind, I have a ton of questions to ask you. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> so let's get up close and personal with Stephen today. Now, do you originate from Nevada? Uh, nope. Uh, Sacramento. I was oh, born, mm -hmm. and uh, most, mostly we lived around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Sacramento, my family... My mom and dad got, they eloped up here, so. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah, so in Carson City, uh, particularly, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's why they came back here eventually. Mm -hmm. yeah. When were you, were, were, how old were you when um, you came back up here? When I, when I first came here, I think I visited like when I was 17, but I came to live here around 20, 21. Oh. So, you like, a little later. Yeah. yeah. Do you like Carson City? I do. It, I've gone uh, in and out of phases of liking it and not liking oh. it. <laughs> Um, I do enjoy it now. I've, I've discovered a lot of things to love about it, mm -hmm. uh, especially lately. Um, this yeah. last year would be where I probably developed my love for it. Really? Yeah. Aww. It mainly just because the outdoors. There's so much to do. You have Tahoe not too far, so yeah, it's yeah. grown on me. It took a little while, but. <laughs> well, I think Nevada and Carson City is real happy that he's with us now. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back in time for a minute. What piqued your interest in music, or are you musically inclined? Uh, my father was a guitarist, and my mom used to sing a lot. Like, she was like a parrot. She'd be cooking and singing, and oh. my dad would be always playing guitar, so I guess I kind of picked it up from them. But mm -hmm. I remember my oldest memory of playing music was one of those old organs. You turn them on, and you can hear the, the like, little kid's organ. Okay. I don't know what they're called. Uh -huh. but you turn them on, and you can hear the air going through it. And I, would, I think I remember playing... The Jigglypuff song from an old Pokemon show. <laughs> hey, and then my parents cool. were like, hey, you want to play piano? We just, we're getting one soon. And I'm like, all right. And I fell for it. And my sister and I then had lessons for about a year oh, and a half. Nice. And yeah. But um, that was where they kind of went into that. So that was your first instrument that you actually played was the, the piano? That little organ mm -hmm. thing. And oh, I would just, organ? Sure. I'd, I'd fiddle around with it. And then uh, when they got the piano, that's where I was classically trained. Like, mm -hmm. they, they're like, you're going to learn. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, no, I agreed to this. I have to do it. Oh, <laughs> so, classically yeah. trained, huh? Yeah. Yes. I had a, a nice teacher in Wairica, California. It was very nice. How wonderful. Do you still play the piano? Yes. That's my, that, I would say that that's my main, well, I'm. My guitar is easy to take around, but sure, piano, sure. Yeah. piano makes it easy to take for co compositions. Are you a concert pianist? Uh, well, I won't. I can't get up and do crazy all over the place. Um, like if I were to do something like uh, Hungarian Rhapsody, okay, something I can't do that. That's like on my list. Uh -huh. But I was cool. trained uh, in a lot of classical music. Pack of Volcan and you know the all the stuff that okay. everybody hears at weddings. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, you heard at a wedding, I probably learned it for a short time. Well, there you go. You had to yeah. get higher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, do you still have your little organ? Oh, no, I actually looked. I was. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> I, it just like it's like it disappeared one day. I don't remember. Oh. I wish I did. I wish I did because I, I I looked around online to find it uh -huh. if I could find that model we had, but it's hard to know. Sure. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, now on a, another avenue, do you compose music? Yes, that's actually what I, that's what I'm hoping to get into the field of, because there's a lot of room um, to compose nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, you can make a pretty decent living just composing all over the world and just sending music around and working along with a lot of creative teams uh, in indie games need music. Oh, uh, a lot of, interesting. A lot of little shorts, mm -hmm. mainly at the indie game revenue there, there's a lot of people pouring money into, you know, games that you play once. Okay. So there's a lot of these indie developers, mm -hmm. they need a little music one time, and then, you know, that's what I'm kind of hoping to get into. Really? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Is that field hard to get into, or? It is, but it, I don't know if you compare, like, um, I mean, if you wanted to make music, like, compose for a movie, uh -huh. you have a huge array of 
competition that you're not going to be able to um, really get into unless you, well, I mean, that's the question of if you work hard enough, okay. when you get there. Right. Yeah. Okay. But yes, there's a, there is a lot of competition. There's a lot of people. If you go on to SoundCloud, you're going to find a million people making video game music just for fun. Oh, so, sure, sure, yeah. okay. and And video game music in general is very eclectic, so it's not just mm -hmm. like chip tunes, which a lot of people associate with it, it's all over the place. It can have classical, it can have metal, it can have jazz fusion, go all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's got oh. a wide array. But yeah, there's a lot of talent involved. Even people who aren't composing for video games can get their music into games, because that's what they're going for, if all that makes right. sense. I, well, good luck to you on that. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? He's awesome. All hmm. right. Well, are you a lyricist as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a, uh, people like Paul Simon and uh, John Mayer were some of my early influences. Mark Knopfler. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Those are people that, they're, I think they're known probably more for their singer-songwriter. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and I, uh, a lot of my stuff was written like seven years back. I haven't really gone back to the composition writing just yet that I feel comfortable uh -huh. with. So a lot of it's like old. Hey, but I'm sure it sounds beautiful <laughs> yeah, though. Hopefully. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Well, what type of music do you uh, like to play the best? Uh, it depends. Um, I think in front of a live crowd, I really like the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's just really fun to interact with the audience. There's mm -hmm. an energy from it. Sure. But at home, I really like diving into how people get tones how they figure out a particular sound. So like you go and listen to um, an old 80s band and they use a particular synth that nobody cared about then, but it now is something that everybody wants because it made that particular unique sound. So going home and finding out how they got a particular sound, what they had to do to get that, accomplish it, what room they used to record, all everything behind it. You know, I get that. Yeah. I, it's the tone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, 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 it's interesting mm -hmm. how much like you think tone and you think quality, but you can get a really great tone off of a little tiny Casio keyboard back in the 80s and uh -huh. 90s where they had this particular sound that you can't really, it's very unique to that. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. So maybe it's not you know, as good as a violin being played in front of you, uh -huh. but it has a unique sound. Sounds, sounds, yeah. yeah. Sound. What is it that you like to play best though, like jazz or metal or country western or pop or what folk. do you like folk folk music. Folk, uh, mm -hmm. like with the singer songwriter and, and folk and um i guess a bit of rock the, okay. the pop lyric writing mm -hmm. usually is what i guess i'd fall into in that okay nice very very nice and have you ever um accompanied an art an artist other artist or are in a band um currently i'm in a band it's just a project I'm working on mm -hmm. and I'm playing with um, a local artist who's been in a couple other bands uh, Carolyn Gates and um, she's playing bass and I'm just doing acoustic guitar I'm looking to find drummers and other people oh. to join as well because mm -hmm. I have a show in October at A to Zen oh sure uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah and so that's what I'm working on in the past I've worked with uh, several local artists mm -hmm. um, a couple people in Chicago but it, pretty much mostly in Carson City, mm -hmm. my, right. the majority of my people I play with. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, compose or, or sing or play when you did live in Chicago? Yes. Did you? Okay. Um, that was where I was learning software, which is a oh. huge learning curve. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, I get that. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see, around this area, have you played for benefits or special events or anything outside of more or less a personal type of event? Back in 2014, or no, it was the end of 2013, I got a bunch of local, local musicians for um, a fish uh, donation where we raised toys. Oh. We, mm -hmm. we got a bunch of people to donate toys and raise money, and then we just we donated it to fish mm -hmm. locally. Oh, and nice. uh, that, I think that was 2013. Mm -hmm. I forgot what we called it. Okay. It was something. Sure. Yeah, you know, like jam event or I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. well, fun. Anything yeah. new coming up for you, event or? I'm working with a few people, but mm -hmm. I won't want to say it until oh, I, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a few possibilities coming down the road for uh, charitable events. and. Oh, okay, sure. Um, just music. I had a couple come and go, and every time I announce them, then they disappear, and I feel, the, oh. feel silly for saying it before it is. Sure. Yeah, so. 
But yes, there are some opportunities yeah. down the road. Oh, well, good. Well, once it gets all nailed down, then you can advertise, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> once I've had a bunch of practice sessions for the musicians uh -huh. and then have someone booked for Right. Uh, yeah. I get that. I get that. I've had people kind of like at the 11th hour say, sorry, my car broke down or something. I can't make it. It's like, oh, what am I yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. now? Yeah. So. That's no fun. No, it's not fun. And but it, It's hard when it's not their fault mm -hmm. some, or knowing whether it's their fault. Because <laughs> right, sure. you want to be angry, but at the same time, you're like, well, life happens. Yeah. And also, anger is not something super good to hang on to. Right, that's Just true. Learn maybe that's if they true. keep doing it. You Exactly. The sec yeah. I've had second chances that yeah. have been blown, and it's mm. like, that's over. Yeah, yeah. done with that. <laughs> that I never, gave you a shout. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever pursued your music for a major or indie label? Um, uh, recently, well, so I've submitted a, a bunch. I actually got mine professionally mixed. Oh. Um, my, sometimes I'm bad with names, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting this name right. Larry Crane, he's mixed a few albums for the Decemberists and uh, a couple other musicians that are, they started over in like the Portland area okay. in Oregon. And um, I recently reached out to him to get him to mix my EP. And so that was an experience, but it, and I've submitted to a couple labels. Mm -hmm. No success yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was the most professional thing I've done was just reaching out and working with him mm -hmm. to get the, the songs mixed, but the album is soon to come. Hopefully. Sure. Well, baby steps. Yeah. You know, yeah. keep at it. Uh -huh. I enjoy it. It's fun. Even if sure. I never make a penny off of it, I'm having fun. I get that. Yeah. yeah. It's going to have to be. <laughs> well, I understand. I understand. So America's Got Talent and all that, just you're waiting to... You know, <laughs> my my mom. I've had several people say to try out for those, and I just I don't really like them. I I'm I just don't enjoy the sure. shows. I'm not saying they're bad shows. It's just I personally don't enjoy. Right. It. I don't. I forgot there was a. I think it was Dave Grohl from Foo Fighters. He's like Bob Dylan wouldn't have made it on those shows. Oh, and, good point. Sure. And it to me, it's if you have a great voice, that's wonderful. There are some. Insanely good musicians out there. Sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I just never had the interest for that. I don't blame you yeah. there, sure. I mean, it, some people say it's kind of silly because you got to do a few things you don't want to do to get somewhere that maybe I should, but. Oh, okay. It just never appealed to me. Well, sure. Well, it's my I get mistake. <laughs> I, oh, no, no, no. That, that's all right. It's, some people can do that, other people couldn't. Yeah. I think if I was an entertainer, I think I would just die on stage with all the thousands of people out there and I and no I'm I'm <laughs> paralyzed for life now because of fear. <laughs> yeah. Hey, awesome. There's other elements. I think some people fear the idea of being rejected on that big of a, a venue and then that carries on into mm -hmm. the way you per you you feel like you're not worthy anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. I think I was more afraid of that than like I'm better than this. Uh, sure. It's just <laughs> I don't want that rejection this early in I'm getting more confident, but I wouldn't uh -huh. want that to right. shoot me down oh, of course. trigger something in my brain that's like... That's oh. a good psychological point, people. Yeah, yeah. Trick yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Fake <laughs> it till you make it. That's right. So, uh, I don't mind flipping the tables and asking you a few questions it, because... Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, I'm still familiarizing myself with your show and other things you do on it, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat, but um, when did you know when you were growing up that this was your passion? Like, how old were you? Was this something? Passion for? Um, everything, all your history, everything that oh. you do here in Carson City, mm -hmm. particularly, was it just you grew up here? Or I, I know so little about you. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm a Sagittarian. First and foremost, I'm vain, I'm a ham. And so <laughs> anything that comes along my way like this, I'm right there to do it. And it took me a long time to get over the fear of what we were talking about mm -hmm. a second ago about stages, TV, uh, radio. It, it took me a long time to get over the fear of presenting myself, mm -hmm. okay? Um, to talk, you know, to talk nicely, you know, professionally, okay? Um, and then it's just fun. Now, I've had uh, my TV show, Psychic Creations, for over five years now, and I love the idea of being able to bring forth guests 
and let the world see who you are. Mm -hmm. Find out who you are, where you came from, where your interest came from. History, uh, I'm an author, of course, I like to write about history. You know, that never really came around till maybe about 10, 12 years ago. Hmm. Before that, I hated history. I didn't care about anything except medieval history in Europe. That was cool, American history, but <laughs> <laughs> But I love Western history, okay, for my books, because that's kind of new. That's only been around for a couple hundred years. Yeah. And we're all pioneers out here in the West. And so that's why I like writing history about the West, because we're still creating, or over in Europe, it's a zillion years old. But we right now are still creating the Western history. Mm -hmm. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. I never thought of it that yeah. way. Yeah. Because um, it's called Psychic Creations. Uh huh, Psychic Creations. And um, is, how does that apply? Like, do you usually talk to people about anything in that area? Mm -hmm. Right. Everything that I have to do with myself has something to do with the metaphysical. I was born a psychic. Everything I do is psychic. My radio show is called Sandy Psychic Communicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything I do. Uh, in life has to do with something with uh, with psychicism, intuition, mm -hmm. divination. That's that's all me. I have literally one foot on the other side, and I live my life toggling back and forth. And it's very difficult, but it is so much fun because I get to see what's on the other side, who's over there, talk to them, and bring those messages and communication back on this side. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that. Too. Oh, yeah. well, I, thank you. Uh, it, it, yeah. I've never had anybody ask me questions, so, oh, that was fun. I have more if we had more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for the question and answer. That, that, was, <laughs> that was very, very nice. But now back to you. Could you please give our viewers your contact information? Uh, currently, I'm on Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, YouTube. Most of them... They should just be Stephen Hansen II okay. at the end of it. So usually if you just Google Stephen Hansen II, okay. which is meant for the second, but that's just what it makes it easiest. <laughs> right. Um, and usually you can find me on SoundCloud where I post a lot of music. Uh, Reverb Nation, YouTube, they all kind of have a mix match of different things that I post. So okay. Whenever I feel like doing something, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to put something on YouTube or SoundCloud. Or <laughs> You're just That's all over the place. Pretty much where you can find me, but Stephen Hansen, I, I. Okay, nice, very nice. Now I have a very special question to ask you. Let's see. Question number 13. Could I bend your arm to have you play a couple songs for us <laughs> and our viewers? Mm. <laughs> Jeopardy song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will play some songs. Oh, here. thank yeah. you so much. I'd love to. All right. And this is an original called Get Well Soon. Get well, get 
it well soon I'm living in a state of scanimation Well turn the page and watch me move A product of appreciation Without this love, I could have never grown Your fears and love go hand in hand And it's not your midnight late afternoon These feelings will dissolve into sandwich by the moon Get well next song was one of the first songs I started writing in a series of songs and it was kind of just trying to portray an emotion that I couldn't quite describe so uh, this one is called warming touch <clears throat>
Thank you so much, Stephen, for being on our show today. What an honor it is to have him on our program. Oh, viewers. Well, yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Appreciate this it. is awesome. Awesome. And your music is just oh, fabulous. Told you you can't be beat. <laughs> Now, if you would like to be a guest on Psychic Creations, please note that the content is of the metaphysical, paranormal, spiritual, and musical. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you can contact me at my website, which is sandypsychicstones.com, www, or at my email address, which is admin at sandypsychicstones.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next show. Only cure is time. Your fear.